What's up everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day. Today's video is going to be something a lot of you guys have asked me about. But before I get into the topic, let's roll the intro. Alright, so today's topic of our 3 minute thoughts is going to be what type of clinical experiences should I look for for medical school? Um, and with us today, we have a very, very special guest, someone who you guys may have seen before on my Instagram feed. Um, it is none other than the famous, the famous Nala. It's my cat. We got a kitten. It's a little baby cat. It's a little baby cat. Oh, he's so happy. He's so happy. Say hi. Hi. Hey there. Subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. She said that. Oh, thanks. Anyways, uh, today's topic is going to be what type of clinical experience should I look out for for medical school? Now, without further ado, oh, what's up? I think she wants some food, but she's on a diet. All right, so today's topic is going to be what type of clinical experiences should I look out for for medical school? Now, let's put three minutes on the clock and let's get started. All right, so in my opinion, there are three types of clinical experiences that you guys should look out for. And the first category of those things is gonna be stuff that's easily accessible, right? So stuff like going to a nursing facility, going to a nursing home, or working with a local physician who you may know and shadowing them, or even volunteering at a health fair, right? These are things where a lot of times you're gonna have a lot of openings, so it's kind of easier to get into. It's a good way to get your foot into the door of our, you know, the medical realm. Um, and it's a really good experience. You get to interact with patients. You get to see what the medical field is like in a slew of different ways. You get to work with physicians. You get to work at a health fair in a health setting. So I highly recommend that. Now the second type is gonna be things that are not as easily accessible, right? So this category includes like an intermediate level of accessibility. So stuff such as being a scribe, you have to be fi uh, fast at typing, or working at a student-run health clinic. Like if your school has a medical school attached to it, then they'll probably have a student-run health clinic that you can volunteer at. A lot of times these types of clinical experiences require some background information, background experience in the medical profession as well, right? So they're a little bit harder to get into. You have to do a little bit of networking, but again, really, really good experiences. And the third category, in my opinion, is gonna be the most hardest category to get into or the not as accessible category. The reason why these experiences are hard to get into it's not mainly because of exclusivity, you have to be the top of the top, but mainly because you have to put in a down payment to get into these clinical experiences. So stuff such as being a certified nursing assistant, CNA, being an emergency medical technician, EMT, you're gonna have to take a course to get into those programs, right? And that means you're gonna have to dish out maybe a couple hundred, maybe a couple thousand, depending on the program and depending on what it entails. But you're also gonna be having a job at the same time, so it's a give and take. Um, some of us may not have that money right away to put down, so you know, keep that in mind. Or going on a medical mission trip. Um, again, that takes a lot of money, it takes a couple thousand usually to go to do a medical mission trip. You may have to fundraise it, but it's not easily accessible. And this also includes getting a hospital job, right? So you have to have prior experience and you have to show them that you're capable of the job you're applying for. Now with that being said, I want you guys to understand one thing. Quantity is not better than quality make sure you go for a better quality of medical experience because it's quality that matters. You could do something in the most accessible category, right? Let's say volunteering at a nursing home and you could understand pretty much what medicine entails, what it entails to be a physician, get a really good experience and then you could do something in the most, you know, highly uh, selective or the hardest to get into, right? The hardest category to get into which is, you know, going on a medical mission trip, let's just pick one. And you may not get that good of an experience. It's the quality of experience that matters. I'm not knocking any of those, right? They're all really good experiences and there's many different types that you can do. Make sure that you go for quantity. Shit. Now pick, you can pick any of these experiences, but make sure you look for the quality experience rather than the quantity of experiences, okay? Uh, number one. Number two, whichever experience you guys focus on, make sure you enjoy what you're doing. Make sure you keep learning about what medicine entails and what being a physician or being an RN or nursing student, whatever you're going for entails. And make sure, make sure that you don't stagnate, that you keep growing as a student, as 
a professional in that field. If you focus on these three things and you focus on the quality of experience, I promise you, you're gonna have a really, really strong experience to write for when you apply for medical school or any medical profession you apply for. Now with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Maybe I went over three minutes, so I'm sorry about that. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Please share this video with a friend who you may think might enjoy it or might get something out of it. If you guys have any ideas of you know what type of videos I should do, please write them down below. I'd love to hear about it. Follow my Instagram feed that's right here. And I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.